compression. Now let's cover the basic compression effects. They are the fruity compressor, the fruity multiband compressor, and the fruity soft clipper. The basic compressor has the typical settings with a couple of twists. Let's open it up now. As you can see it has one of the basic interfaces, nothing fancy. The threshold establishes the on off level. It's a ceiling. Once the audio level goes above the ceiling level it turns on. The compressor begins to work in line with the attack time. The longer the time, the slower the ramp up to full compression. The release time is the time it takes for the compressor to stop working after moving below the threshold. The ratio sets the amount of compression. A 1 to 1 ratio means that for every 1 dB above the threshold, 1 dB will pass. So if it is 10 dB above the threshold, 10 dB will pass. If the ratio is set to 5 to 1, then for every 5 dB above the threshold, only 1 will pass. So if 5 dB above the threshold, only 1 will pass. If 10 dB, then 2 will pass, and so forth. The gain is there to increase the overall level because the compressor will reduce the level and you will need to pump it back up. The type sets other parameters such as the knee. This refers to the linearity of the attack and release timings. Do you want a hard knee that snaps through the attack time or a softer transition? That means it's not going to necessarily go even across the attack time, but maybe it'll go slow at first and then speed up through the attack time. It depends on the material and the resulting sound. You'll need to tweak this until it works for you. Let's look at some of these choices. Hard, medium, vintage, hard R, medium R, vintage R, soft R. The R stands for release, so it's going to affect the release. The ones without that really are just affecting the attack, etc. Okay, now let's look at the fruity multiband compressor. Let's see, multiband compressor. Now this has a fancier interface. However, it's really the same thing. Instead of a single band that covers the whole frequency range, it actually breaks it into several frequency bands. Otherwise, the settings are basically the same. It also has a limiter which is really just a compressor with a very high ratio, at least 20 to 1. Now this processor is great for mastering, but also is an all-around great EQ compressor. Now I say EQ compressor because when it breaks it into bands, it actually acts as an equalizer. Now let's look just to double check everything. We have a threshold, which sets the ceiling, a ratio, which sets the compression amount, a knee, which sets the attack linearity, an attack, release, and a gain. Everything that we already saw. We also have active, muted, and bypassed. That means we can actually mute what's going through this one, or this one, or this one, and just hear what else is happening on the other ones. Here, this is just really a display. Let's play a note. You can see the sound is actually really in the mid band here with very little in the low band and not that much in the high band either. Let's turn up the ratio in the mid band 7 to 5, turn down the threshold, turn up the attack time, make it shorter, and maybe adjust some gain. This side represents the amount of compression that's taking place and this represents the level on the end. You can see going through the range is what's happening. Very cool display over here, plus a speed to tell you exactly what's happening. Turn it to the left, it shows you your bands turn it all the way up and that's what happens. Now these here set the ranges of your frequencies. Like so. Now we're compressing a lot of the high, high mids 
not really doing much with the lows. That's okay. If we want, we can mute that and mute that and just hear what's coming in the highs. Great way to hear the different bands separate from each other. Okay, let's now move on to the final compression effect, the soft clipper. Now, as you'll see, this is a very basic plugin. Now, the soft clipper is a lightweight but powerful compressor limiter designed to prevent peaking. It has a threshold and a post volume control. When you worry about clipping or something be too loud, or you can create an effect by pushing audio against it really loudly, use the soft clipper. So we can adjust the volume coming through afterwards and the threshold. That's really all you get on this one. Very simple but effective. Now, while using compression, keep in mind that it is all about volume control. The sound of modern music is a lot about compression. Making everything too loud, though, is not always good, primarily because ears fatigue and they need variety in music. Either way, it is an important tool, and it's important to know how to use it.